Okay, so what I have here, this is called my printing plate. Um, it's called a jelly plate. And I have a placemat. I have ink. Ink is a little stickier than regular paint. I have this thing, which is called a brayer. Looks like a paint roller. I have a tray to roll the, the ink into, so I keep it nice and clean. And of course I have an apron on. And all of this stuff is very washable, so um, we can put all this in the sink. And for you guys, we're going to use yarn to print today, and we're going to use stencils. So the first thing you want to do, start with a color. And we just squeeze a little bit into the tray. And it's like a toothpaste bottle, so if it runs low, you start from the bottom, squeeze up. You never want to squeeze too hard because these can actually break. And then the ink starts to ooze out the side of it, and that's no good. That's very messy, and then we have to pretty much just throw it away. So you put some into a tray, and you want to roll that brayer. The goal is you want to fill the whole brayer with the color of ink, okay? So you don't want to just fill, like, the middle of it. The whole thing should be covered. And you want to hear sort of a little crackly sound as you roll. It's going to sound like sizzling bacon. That's when you know it's nice and sticky. And then you're going to roll the ink onto your plate. You are going to take some yarn. And you are simply going to lay this yarn on top of the plate in any sort of design that you think is cool. Uh, your hands might get a little messy doing this. But that's okay, it's art class, we're allowed to be messy. And you're going to take your first sheet of paper, you're going to get two sheets, make sure your name's on the back, so name back here, and you want to put it right onto the plate. And you want to carefully rub. So I'm kind of using my knuckle. Make sure you get in between those little yarn pieces. Make sure you rub the corners. All around. And then when you feel you've done enough rubbing, peel one corner up. And you can see you've made one print. Okay? So I'm going to peel up my yarn. I can actually reuse this yarn if I wanted to, so I'll just put it back in my bucket. Once the ink dries, I can reuse it. And then you're going to take your second sheet of paper. This is called your ghost print. It's called a ghost print because what this is meant to do, it's meant to just clean up your plate. And so I'll show you. So we put it back on, we do the same thing, but the yarn isn't on the plate anymore. We peel it up. So this kind of looks like a ghost of this print. Okay, so that's why it's called a ghost print. Um, it looks a little kind of spooky. And it's meant just to clean the plate. But a lot of times ghost prints actually look so very cool that we can use them as the actual art piece. So we're going to keep both of our prints, but notice how each print is different. It's a mono print, so it's never going to be look the exact same. Okay, so now that my plate is kind of cleaned up a bit, I'm going to switch colors. So here I have my orange. So I'm going to roll the ink onto my plate. And then I'm going to use some stencils. So you're just going to use whatever's at your table. Whatever you get is what you get. So I have some stars here. And I'm going to just lay some stars onto my plate. And they can even go off the side. All right, so now make sure they're all pressed down. Take your first print, put it back on, and do the same thing, rub. Peel it up. And you're going to see a very interesting print. So the stencil blocked out parts of your print. So that's why the green still can come through on the stars, but the orange layered on top of it everywhere else. So you get a very interesting artwork. And now I want you to take your stencils off, and they're going to have wet ink on them. So just put them in your little bucket, because we can reuse these once the ink dries. 
I don't like to be wasteful. And then take your ghost print, put it back on, rub, rub, rub. It up. And you're still getting a very interesting type of print. Looks a little different. Still awesome though. Okay, so now what we can do, we can clean the plate, clean the brayer, clean the tray. We are done with a monoprint process.